All right, so as you guys know, and you're watching one right now, you know intros are one of the most important factors of a YouTube video. And a lot of people don't know how to edit them properly. So that's what I'm gonna be showing you guys today. I'm gonna be showing you guys from start to finish how to edit the best video at a professional level for your own YouTube videos. But if you guys do enjoy, you wanna support me, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. This is gonna be a bit of a quick one, so make sure to watch all the way through to the end. Let's get right into it. Okay guys, so for this, we're gonna be using DaVinci Resolve. I use this software in basically all of my tutorials and I edit all my videos actually in there so make sure you go check it out using the link at the top of the description to download it and once you download it make sure to boot it up let's get into it so starting off we're just going to name this intro sample something like that and this is actually going to be the edit tab down here at the bottom you can see if you hover over it it says edit and go here go to file project settings and this is where we'll actually initialize the settings for our project now timeline frame rate we're going to change this to 60 we can keep our resolution at 1920 by 1080 because that's pretty industry standard nowadays and we're going to go to save this will actually allow us to save those video settings out to our project currently so we'll go here to file explorer and for example we'll find some sample footage from an intro that we can use and i'll kind of walk you guys through the different stages here and quickly before i get into the tutorial i want to quickly mention my brand new 2024 ultimate editing pack that i literally just released in this pack includes absolutely everything you could possibly need for anything involving editing content etc i have over 100 different fortnite presets as well as stuff for your content tiktok and youtube automation library video and audio memes practice clips for fortnite practice footage for editing your own videos literally anything you could ever imagine i don't have the link to actually go check it out down below so make sure to go check it out it literally costs less than a mcdonald's meal and you're going to be able to make so much money from these different presets to actually edit your own stuff or edit client stuff but i don't want to take up any more time so go check it out using the link at the top of the description as well as the pinned comment and let's get right back to the video so once we have the footage in our media pool right here we're just going to drag it into our timeline and this is actually a real intro that i have for my previous tutorial that i posted on the channel you guys probably saw it a couple days ago um but we're actually just going to cut this up and kind of use this so starting off the first thing i'll do is i'll comb through the intro and by the way you're gonna need your headset so make sure to toss that on at this point i'm gonna comb through and i'm gonna cut out all that dead space that we don't need so that looks something like this space right here this space this space this space this space and i'm using the blade tool which i can either click this right here or press b on my keyboard to switch back and forth with the select tool um so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna kind of come through and cut wherever i don't want to have you know a clip so i'm gonna cut that right there cut that right there and i'm just gonna press backspace every time i want to delete a section drag this over with my left click and let's say we want to get rid of this delete it this delete it and let's just say the intro ends here it goes on longer but i just want to show you guys a shorter segment so you guys can focus on what i'm talking about now the next thing i'll do is i will focus on pacing now pacing is very important because it makes the speaking sound a lot more natural i take pauses when i talk so i'll always you know pace it up to sound like i'm talking normally without you know recording a scripted intro uh so what i'll do is I will come through and I'll add something called J cuts or L cuts. Now, what this means is I literally will just overlap the ends like this, and it kind of makes it sound a little bit more natural compared to taking pauses. Now, what I'll do from there, now what I'll do from there is I will right click, unlink the clips, and I will drag this so this video comes in as this audio kind of drags out a little bit more. You know, I made a little bit of a mistake there, but just for the sample, this is what our intro project would look like. Now, what I'll do from there is I'll left click and hover over all of it, and I'll compound. So we can just go to compound clip right here by right clicking, go to create, and this just makes it all one layer super easy to use now utilizing secondary footage this is super important and i highly suggest you do it so let's say for example in this segment right here i'm talking about editing and then this segment right here i'm talking about you know being a streamer something like that we want more than just me talking to the camera we want visuals to show the viewer what i'm talking about so let's say this segment right here is talking about you know editing so i'll add a marker by pressing m and I'll kind of have two markers lasting the duration of how long I want that visual to last. And then right here, I'll do the exact same thing. I'll do something like this, and this will be where I add the streamer footage. Now you can go to a website called Pexels and get a bunch of stock footage for 100% free. And let me just quickly show you guys. I have a massive folder with a bunch of footage from Pexels. So I got editing stuff. I'm actually going to go to the one called streamer and just like this i just need to drag it in use our blade tool like we talked about before just like that i have that editing b-roll footage right here and then streamer footage you know i got that right here as well so it's that easy i literally have it go like this boom boom and that's how you do that so what i do from there sometimes is if i want to use a transition i'll go something like this i'll cut this segment out drag this down cut this segment out drag this down and from there i'm able to go to video transitions go to like a cross dissolve for example 
something like this like that or if i want to do an additive dissolve between the two like that or if i want to go down here go to something like a rotate so let's say we go to pan left right here i'll do something like that boom pan left if we want like a rotation transition right here boom rotate probably a little bit too fast so i'll make it longer bang you know it looks a lot better um now let me quickly show you one more thing that you can do so what i do for stuff like this is i will scale in the video to add um, zoom ins or progressive zooms or slow zooms right i'll click on this portion of the clip and i'll come up here to the transform in the top right now what we can do is we can press this little dot right here which will add a keyframe which assigns that zoom value or whatever it is you're editing to that specific frame so if we had our value right here at one we had this at 1.1 this would be a progressive zoom all this duration right this would be you know 1.05 this would be like 1.75 it kind of progressively moves up so if we come to the end of the clip here change this to like 1.1 that's going to zoom progressively we can see if we watch this monitor it zooms in progressively that's exactly what we want now what i'll do is i'll come through my entire intro and i will add you know 1 1.1 throughout basically the entire thing to add you know that extra moving you know asset that's kind of being visually appealing to the audience right that's exactly what we want and that's basically how you do that now if you guys want to learn subtitles i'll have a tutorial in the description focusing on subtitles like i mentioned earlier in the video i have two different editing packs one ten dollars one being five dollars they will make your life a million hundred million times easier when it comes to editing videos producing videos learning effects all that stuff i have so many presets sound effects assets all that stuff you guys can go pick it up it's at the top of the description but if you guys did enjoy you learned how to make an intro make sure to like comment subscribe go check out my other tutorials i'll have a playlist link down below but uh yeah that's pretty much it and i hope you guys enjoy peace out